Save 15% off your order through Safari site using my exclusive coupon code DINOSCREEN. Link is in the description of this video. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and we do have a surprise today. We are revealing a new Safari 2023 figure which is hiding behind this Gastonia skull but obviously because of the title and thumbnail you already know what it is so let's get this reveal underway. Hey you bird girl come on up. And it's Utah Raptor. And a big thank you to Safari for sending me out this figure for this early review and reveal. I was very surprised when they told me I would be revealing the Utah Raptor. This is a very popular species of dinosaur that there's barely any good figures of. So it's nice to have one that's fully feathered and highly accurate. So I was quite surprised uh, when I heard about this figure. And it is absolutely fantastic looking. It's not available yet. It should be available shortly. And when it is, the retail value is going to be $19.99. And don't forget to use my coupon code that I showed off at the beginning of the video to save 15% off your order from Safari. So yeah, I am totally smitten with this figure. Not because, you know, I get the reveal it or anything. It's just a really well done Utah Raptor. You know, for some reason, companies just don't like doing a lot of Dromaeosaur figures. Um, you know, Safari has been quietly releasing some of the best versions. We got their Deinonychus and Velociraptor, which I'll roll out later on. Uh, during comparisons, you know, we got Beast of Mesozoic. Yeah, they have their Raptor series. But like everyone else, PNSO, Collect Day. Uh, we're not going to talk about uh, that abomination from Schleich still. Zero reviews uh, of Schleich figures on this channel. Though I might pick up their Gastonia to pair up with this beautiful looking uh, Utah Raptor. But yeah, this thing is really nice looking. And it's actually a very, very good size figure. I was actually surprised by the size of it when I got it in the box. But, you know, most of you don't really care about that. So let's throw this thing up on the turntable and jump into this review. And here is a 360 degree view of the Utah Raptor. And I have to say, this figure is absolutely fantastic looking. Safari's been cranking out some really nice Dromaeosaur figures over the last few years. And this Utah Raptor is no different. Uh, the proportions look a little weird on this figure. We'll get into that uh, a little while later. It is a very, very accurate figure. Uh, the color scheme is this nice light blue color with black feathers uh, trimming all the plumage you get some black on the head and white on the throat and some yellow for the front of the snout and lower jaw i'm trying to figure out you know what real life bird this is based off of because it obviously is and the closest i could come to is the red bill uh magpie you know if anyone else can figure it out or if i'm wrong you know just let me know down in the comments but yeah this figure is just absolutely fantastic we love the head sculpt on it uh the feather detail is absolutely fantastic just all around a really nice figure and it's a large figure too so it's going to look great uh you know next to some of the smaller dromaeosaur figures in your collection and now for some measurements this figure from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail is nine and a half inches long or 24 centimeters and four inches tall to the top of the head or 10 centimeters so utah raptor in real life is estimated between 16 to 18 feet long or 4.9 to five and a half meters so to do my uh, scale estimate, I'm going to just take it from this part right here on the tail where the, uh, for these, uh, these plumage feathers come out. So that's about nine inches right there. So that would put this figure somewhere in the 121 to the 124 scale range. Now let's zoom and take a look at some of the finer details on this figure. Like I said earlier, you know, the proportions look really weird in this figure. You know, we're used to Dromaeosaurus being very sleek and fast looking. And Utah Raptor was actually quite different. It was a very robust and stocky animal. Not built for speed, but built for power. You can see that by the very short and robust hind legs. Same thing with the torso. Very short, stocky uh, torso. And they actually had a kind of a short tail compared to other dromaeosaurs you know the theory is because of the large size and the weight uh they were much more capable of dispatching prey with their hind legs they don't have to worry about getting off balance because they weighed so much and there's a lot of power in those short stocky legs so yeah love the proportions on this thing it's a very very accurate looking figure you got a nice powerful looking head if we can get my camera to zoom in on that the eye is done in a nice glossy yellow paint with a black pupil. You have some yellow for the snout and lower jaw, and that is unfeathered. You can see some nice scale detail on here. And we have all these black feathers covering 
the top part that had a little bit of the white feathers coming in on the bottom part of the lower jaw and then looking inside the mouth we get some nice detailed teeth are nice painted white color uh that throat looks like it goes all the way back nice glossy paint in there for the inside of the mouth we do have some nice details for the roof of the mouth just a little bit in there but yeah the feather detail on this figure is really really great just love the color pattern on here you get some nice white for the throat on the underside you do have this light brown coloration just look at all that beautiful feather detail going all the way down just love the plumage on the tail going down to those very powerful fore arms you get that nice light blue coloration tipped by these uh black primary feathers on the inside of the hands you can see the hand claws are nice and sharp looking uh with some black paint just a little you know sharper looking than i'm um, you know expecting from safari and then going down to the very powerful hind legs you can see the sickle claw is all decked out in that black paint and here's the body from the top some more of that beautiful feathery detail love the blue on here such a nice color choice on this figure you get all that plumage decked out in black trim so yeah all around a really really nice figure absolutely love the proportion we've been needing a utah raptor like an accurate look of one for a very long time and i'm so happy uh safari delivered this is a great figure and it's definitely a sizable one at that also now moving on with comparisons let's use mr robert Muldoon right here he is a 118 scale action figure so kind of close to you know the size scale of this utah raptor figure gets a, gives you an idea of how big utah raptor was in real life and fun fact you know back in 93 when jurassic park was coming out the velociraptors were seriously seriously upscaled to make them more terrifying in the movie and up until that point in time there was no dromaeosaurs remotely close to the size of the jp uh raptors until utah raptor was discovered i think it was roughly around the time the movie was shooting so i guess it all kind of worked out in the end and now let's do a couple safari dromaeosaurs here it is with their awesome looking deinonychus and actually the way this is posed on my table right now uh the utah raptor is actually balancing on its two legs right now i mean it's definitely going to work as a tripod but i guess you could just get it just right uh that tail will lift off the ground and here is their equally amazing velociraptor and like i said safari has been quietly cranking out some of the best romanosaur figures on the market i don't know why other companies just ignore you know fluffy feather dinosaurs but you know everyone else needs to get on the ball we want figures like this uh it would be nice if you know these three were all in scale but you know they still do look nice together and next up here is beast of mesozoic dromaeosaurus and here is their 118 scale velociraptor so it kind of gives you a good idea of how small velociraptor really was compared to utah raptor and if you're a Utah Raptor fan, this year is going to be a great year for you because Beast of Mesozoic is also coming out with their own version of Utah Raptor. Let's do a couple more Safari figures. Here it is with their Albertosaurus and their Cryolophosaurus. And next up here it is with Safari's awesome looking feathered T-Rex, which mine does not like standing anymore. And next up here is Rebor's fantastic representation of T-Rex. And, you know, I think this figure, I, I remember correctly, was, was kind of around that 125-ish, maybe almost 130 scale. So the Utah Raptor does scale decently well with it. And next up here it is with Toyways Old, Walking with Dinosaurs, Utah Raptor. And, oh my, how far we have come over the years of our portrayal of Dromaeosaurs. You know, we have this, you know, sleek very reptilian looking uh figure right here and then we have this beautiful fluffy feathered murder turkey uh to the side of it um and like i said the, you know for utah raptor being very popular barely any like toys of it or even good ones yeah we got one uh way back in the day in the jurassic park kenner line you know it's like little uh, abomination we got this toy win one i think there's like a couple others out there but nothing right now that compares even close to safari's version which is a beautifully accurate figure and lastly let's end this up off with a cedar mountain formation group shot here is gastonia and here is tanatosaurus and you know what do i need to do to get a good tanatosaurus figure from a company safari uh could you get on that we definitely need one uh for our utah raptor and deinonychus figures but yeah uh, looks great. Same thing with like a nice, you know, Gastonia 
figure too. I know Schleich has one. That might be the only Schleich figure I ever uh, pick up. Uh, but yeah, and one more thing. Here is a life-size replica of Utah Raptors. Sickle Claw. I, I've had this thing forever now. I don't know if any of you old enough to remember Skullduggery back in the day, but they made like these polystone casts of fossils. And I, I've had this thing forever. I think my parents got this for my birthday forever ago. But yeah, this is a life-size cast of Utah Raptors Claw. So final thoughts on Safari's 2023 Utah Raptor. Absolutely love this figure. I have no complaints about it. The only tiny minuscule critique I can make is I just wish there was a dark wash over the entire figure to bring out all that beautiful uh, feather detail. Other than that, I think this figure is absolutely fantastic. They got the proportions uh, correct on there. You know, like I said, Utah Raptor is very like uh, stocky, robust built dromaeosaur, and they absolutely nailed it with the look of this figure. Love uh, the inspiration from real life birds for the color pattern. And it's just a great figure. It's a sizable figure, and it's definitely worth the 20 bucks once this thing becomes available. So a big thank you again, Safari, for giving me the opportunity to reveal this beautiful looking figure. Once it becomes available, I'll leave the link to Safari site down below in the description. And shameless plug, don't forget to use my exclusive coupon code, DinoScream, to save 15% off your order. So that will do it for the review. I have a few new things coming in, so be on the lookout for new reviews on the channel. And as always, if you're enjoying the content, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.